three, two, one. Hey everybody, it's Andre from Transit Arts, and today we're going to talk about the word crescendo in Japanese. Well, actually, um, they really don't have a word for Japanese um, in, in, in their language. See, sometimes uh, when their words are newer in a certain language, they necessarily don't have a word that matches or um, fits with the word, so they just inherit the word as it is. So um, how we would say crescendo is how they would say crescendo, which... Crescendo. Crescendo. Now, the reason why I, in English we say crescendo, but in Japanese they say... Crescendo. It's because of how um, the Japanese language is, uh, is really built. Um, they are very, uh, uh, like, rhythmic with their words and how they speak and they say things uh, they have certain ways of saying different things uh, which kind of goes back to our culture um, week of how sometimes different cultures have different ways of doing and saying things uh, so what is crescendo well it is the finisher it is the height it is the peak it is the grand finale of a certain thing. It can be music, mostly it's in music. It comes from music, but it could be in a movie, in a poem, in a play. Um, when you finish something, like a bowl of cereal, that is the crescendo, and you feel real good because the cereal is really good. Um, but that is crescendo. So how do you say crescendo in Japanese? Well, uh, you can say it uh, just like you would normally would in English, which is crescendo. Um, but some other words you can use to kind of replace that, right? You can use height, which is the height of the song, uh, the pinnacle, which pinnacle basically means the top, uh, the top of you can be the top of a stairs, top of the food chain, top of your grade, um, the summit, um, or the peak. So uh, let's talk about how to say the other words in Japanese. So for the height, um, you can say Takasa. 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 For pinnacle, you can say choten. Choten. For summit, you can say samito. Samito. Which, funny enough, kind of sounds like summit. That was one of those words that kind of like, they just kind of borrowed how they say it and kept it moving. And then for peak, there is piku. 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 So, that is crescendo kinda in Japanese. Um, as you, if, if you go uh, and learn a language, you'll see that sometimes they will borrow different words or how to say different words from different languages. That's really how the English uh, language was built, um, by borrowing certain things from other languages and cultures all across time, um, which is probably another video. I won't bore you with that, although it's not really boring. I don't have the time or the resources or the knowledge to kind of explain how that works. I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, um, leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having fun with the program, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Woo-wee. Rambling.